What are you doing? We gotta go bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I don't have any toys, so I have to play with the dad's shoes. Bye bye. We're heading to our Tuesday morning business meeting that Cammie and I go to to discuss stuff. I think we have some important things today, scheduling things. I'm feeling better. I was feeling pretty sick yesterday, but I woke up feeling a lot better, which is really nice. Yeah. But then we stayed up last night watching Game of Thrones just because we have this like Amazon HBO membership free for two more weeks. Uh, bad decision. Bad decision. We watched a show like five years ago and then I swore it off. We watched all of season one. <clears throat> and then we're like, hey, this is free. Like, how bad can it be? Like, so now we've watched four Maybe episodes. Maybe five years later it got better. <laughs> no. I knew we shouldn't do it. This is the thing. This is why I'm like embarrassed to talk about it. Because I like knew we shouldn't do it. I knew it wasn't going to be beneficial for us. Yeah. And then Cammie kind of said like, uh, I don't really want to, but I could tell I could just like push her over, like breathe on her and she'd like, she was like, but I'm fine with it. And I was like, I've been like sick and just like wanting to escape lately. And I'm like, I'm fine with it. So we did it. Our last name is Crawford and a few of our neighbors we've heard, there's actually a rumor thing that we own that insurance company. We do not. There's weird rumors spread about us around here that we hear about. One is we heard that people believe that we won the lottery a while back and are starting a cult here. <laughs> or that we're moving all our friends from Seattle from winning the lottery here. I think I heard that I'm a terrorist of some sort. I'm having coffee. It tastes so good to me because yesterday I didn't have coffee and I had a headache and that was like really hard. When you go off certain things, how good they taste to you when you actually bring them back in. A while back we went off sugar like during the whole week but we would have it on the weekend and I remember going to the grocery store and getting a little pack of raspberries and eating those and they tasted so good and I didn't grow up eating a ton of fruit I would make fun of Ben and he would make fun of me because he loves fruit and he loves berries and I remember just like eating this raspberry almost as if it was the first time I ate a raspberry I don't even think I'm exaggerating it's just I think when you're like on autopilot with like eating stuff and just eating whatever you just I like have this entitlement thing where I just think like I just I just need more, I need more, I need more. And nothing really tastes great and nothing like I don't I like take everything for granted. I think some people that don't understand us, if they hear that we're going off coffee, they might think, Oh, we're just trying to torture ourselves. But actually I think that we we believe we'll experience more pleasure when we can actually enjoy things and not be controlled by them. I like this sandwich right now. There's Tim. We're gonna see him tonight at Tuesday night. We just got done talking a little bit. It's one of the cool things about a neighborhood coffee shop that you walk to is we ran, we ran into two people that we know already today. So I, I just need to find. Tonight is our last Tuesday night guys night. We've been doing this bourbon and cigars and fire and discussion thing with guys for years now. It's actually been one of the highlights of my week. I've shown it a lot in this vlog. Tonight's the last one. Also, Tuesday and Thursday we've done story time with family that lives two doors down, Sunny and Crystal and their kids. We've been doing that for four years and we're done with that. So now we have these gaps in our schedule and what I've seen happen is when there's gaps in schedule, usually it gets filled in with like the easiest thing first, um, which is surfing the internet mindlessly, watching going movies. watching movies. So I want to fill these days in our schedule with things that are actually going to be valuable to us and that are going to make a difference in our life. Monday night we're doing a 12 step group, Tuesday night we're doing some sort of internet teaching and then we're watching a documentary. Wednesday night is our date night. 
Thursday we're doing our story time and then we're having the kids watch our vlog episodes. And all of those are from 7 to 8 p.m. It's amazing how fragile uh, it is when it comes to motivation with some of these events. If it just comes to what I feel like on a Monday at 7 p.m., I'm not gonna feel like these things, just like I've never felt like working out. So understanding that up front is really valuable because tonight we're gonna communicate all these things to the kids and we're gonna say, kids, we need your help. This is like what we value and this is what we're gonna do. I think it's really important to have structure. If you don't have that, if you don't have like the things you really want to be happening, you're always gonna be doing the lowest common denominator, which is the easiest thing to do. As individuals, you know, when you're just a bachelor or whatever, like at, at the end of a long day of work, you just wanna let yourself go. And that feels nice or whatever, but when you have kids, you realize, oh man, if I let myself go, and if my wife lets herself go, and then if these six kids just all let themselves go, it gets pretty chaotic and non-productive very quickly, and you're seeing like, oh, this is a lot of valuable time we're just essentially wasting by zoning out. The more group you have, the more structure you need, you know, because we we can't just jerk everyone around by, by operating off of my whims. Hey guys, let's... Let's work out today. You know, it's like people have different expectations and we need to build our lives around this structure. So a lot of this Tuesday meeting for Cami and I is, is architecting and tweaking and discussing and evaluating these structures that, as you guys can see, are always changing. And we're okay with them changing because we're learning. We're always going to try and do what's best for our family. The more you do them and the more habitual it gets, the more I've noticed that we're thriving. And there may be things that like don't work out very well, but it's better to have something in place and then you can tweak it and reevaluate it. I hate taking tags off things. I don't know why. I think it feels newer to me if I keep it on. You have to take it off. You're committing. I own this. I'm committing. You guys, these meetings are magic. You know, I finished a rough draft of a book this year that has been like one of my goals for most of the last decade. And I did it because we talked about it in one of these business meetings. And I got the idea out of my head. I got it out of isolation. I used the help of my partner and wife, Cami, and we did it. And today I set a goal to have the second draft done by the end of February. <clears throat> you know what? I give it a 95% chance that this is gonna happen. And it all started here. It was because I told her about it today. And a lot of what you guys see in our life, we've done some crazy stuff. We have more crazy stuff planned. We've run two or three marathons with our kids, four marathons. We've hiked around mountains, but it all starts right here. You know, this is what I don't think people realize the reason why we show our everyday life, it might seem more boring, it's not as glorious as crossing the finish line of a marathon, but the hard work is done in the day-to-day, -day, the weekly grind. We've been doing this, these meetings for a year plus now, and I think we're just getting better and better at making these meetings really fruitful and learning how to be on the same page. And that's something that you have to learn as a husband and wife. It's not something that just happens. Oh, there you go. Happy New Year. We are on our way to ballet lessons. It is pouring down rain out here. 57 degrees. I'm not looking forward to getting super wet. I decided to wear a shirt though. 
We don't cancel our runs from rain, especially when the weather is this warm. feels really nice. It's a really good day to run. We started running at 5 which is a little later than we expected. We tried to start at 4.30 but we ran a little bit behind. We just had a full-on face plant due to weather. Are you okay? We just finished six miles in the rain. It's dark out. Thalia fell pretty hard. She was running through the puddles and she didn't see the uneven concrete underneath. So she bit it. So I don't know if you can see, but her whole front of her shirt is just soaking wet. Are you okay? Yeah. How was the run? Um, terrible. <laughs> terrible? Why was it terrible? I couldn't even, it was like, my legs were like hurting, I tripped, it was really bad. Well, yeah. you did super good, give me a high five. We are all set up for our last guys night on Tuesday night in the shed. It was really hard to send out this email today because, I don't know, I'm gonna miss it. Ultimately, this is just kind of part of a bigger life change Cammy and I are making right now, and we believe that sometimes you have to cut good things for better things, even if you can't see what the better things are yet. It's not like we have anything like super awesome that we know of right now that I'm canceling this for, but we just believe that it's the right thing for us, so it's all we can do right now. But I'm gonna miss it. It's been like a really big highlight of my week to hang out with these guys and talk about things and hear other opinions and just smoke and drink and relax. It's made me a better man. Put the whole thermostat back on. Oh, it came on. Tim is passing out Christmas presents. Is this what I think it is? This is what you think it is. Wait. Tim, wow. you got yours. Brian, you got yours. Tim's got special Tuesday night bourbon mix. This is Pappy Van Winkle? No. <laughs> That's not what you think it is. Yeah. No, somebody somebody cool. thinks you... Well, no, but <laughs> somebody thinks you should be in the FBI. No, it's just an algorithm. So we just got done sharing our highs and lows of 2016 and our hopes for 2017. And thanks be to God, he brought us to another year. Ready for that? They're here. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Huh? 30 more chicken wings over there. And spicy garlic. No. <laughs> yeah, get it, get it. You're a chicken wings. Come on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just got our new group picture. Center. Here, here. Everybody. Here. Cheers. Cheers.